Welcome to Miss Vermont. Our first contest contestant is Candy Latoya. Please strut your stuff. <laughs> okay, for the next portion of our contest, please write me down a few sentences. Okay. Alright, um, write me a sentence using parentheses correctly. The main characters in the play, mother, father, and son, made it funny. Nice. Move on. This rule is obtruse. Yeah, it's hard for me to understand. The correct way to write the sentence. The main characters in the play, mother, father, and son, made it funny. Oh, so we use parentheses to <laughs> talk about detail that would interrupt the flow of a sentence. Yes. Now write me a sentence with parentheses at the end of it. Kids were arrested at a party. Thankfully, we didn't. Good job again. But no. This is a very pivotal rule. It's important? Yes. And the correct way to write the sentence is... Kids were arrested at a party. Thankfully, we didn't Wait, go. So if, if it's at the end of the sentence, you treat it as its own sentence? Correct. Okay, let's try one more. Write me a sentence with a question in parentheses. Um, us that went to the game, how are we to know we're not allowed to go into Very the good. Field? But long. Mm. To fully understand this rule, you have to ruminate about it. But I'm not good at thinking deeply. I know. The correct way to write this rule is... Us that went to the game, how are we to know, were not allowed to go onto the field. So you're supposed to add the question mark inside the parentheses? This is correct. Well, so let's try something new. Finish this sentence. When someone arrives, blank will set the table. When someone arrives, she will set Yay! the table. Hey, You got one wrong. The correct answer would be he, diagonal, she. When someone arrives, he or she will set the table. Is that because you don't know the gender of the subject? C. Now write me an and or a sentence. Oh, this one's easy. We can have waffles and pancakes or just waffles. The sentence is technically correct, but it's not what I asked for. Try making it shorter. I don't know how! Okay, like We this. can have waffles and or pancakes. Yeah, we can add a diagonal to join and an or. Right! Okay, this is your penultimate question. Sweet! Only two more. Okay, now write me two sentences using brackets in the two areas that they are found. Oh, God. Uh... I want to work at NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, when I grow up. We need him, the man next door, Bob, to fix the door. That's so not right. In both cases, you switched them. It should be. I want to work at NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, when I grow up. We need him, the man next door, Bob, to fix the door. Oh, I get it. Use brackets to say explanatory things inside quotes or parentheses. Yes. The only the thing that amazes me is that you know the word explanatory. Okay, last. What would you do to this sentence to show the reader that the writer made an error in the quotations? I'm tired. I don't care. Okay, audience. Maybe our next model can answer this question. Star Gonzalez, strut your stuff. Hey! Please answer the last question. They should stop their dog from biting. There is spelled incorrectly. How do you change the sentence to make it correct? To show that there was an error in the quotation. They should stop their dog from biting. You should biting. put sick next to there to show that the writer made an error in the quotation. They should stop their sick dog from biting. Yes. This rule is only slightly connected to grammar, so that means it's tangential. Now just for fun, write a sentence using the other ways to use diagonals that we have not covered. I am one third of the way to Boston, and I'm driving at an average of <coughs> 31 miles per gallon. I found my average by doing number of miles divided by number of yes, gallons. You showed that diagonals are also used for fractions, indicating per and for division. Now let's see if you can do what Candy Latoya could not. Can you write me one sentence with parentheses? Shut there. My friend, Bill, is cool. And on that, you are now Miss Vermont. OMG, really? Thank you so much. I would like to thank...